I thought I would share with you some of the books that we have been reading for our history and especially with my third grader right here. You want to introduce yourself? Uh, hey, if you want your own channel, then you're going to have to do this, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, no. Are you embarrassed? My name is Steven. I'm nine. All right, let's just move on in because I think I. Oh. All right, so these I link. I will link the video above where I showed all of the books that the kids were going to be reading for our history, and I thought it would be fun to kind of show you some of the books that I know he has read, and what he thinks of it. So it's not just me saying, "Here you go, read this book." What you thought of it as well. Okay, so we started with where do you think you're going, Christopher Columbus? What did you think? Okay. Would you read it again? Probably. Oh. Do you think anybody would enjoy reading it? Yeah, probably. Okay. What do you think was the best part of it? Probably when he like goes around the world and then he goes around the world. Yeah. Yeah. With the ships and then he finds out one island where the Indians are and they were all naked and then he's decided to ship some back. I had to leave some on the island. You had to leave some on the island? Yeah, some of his shipmates. Oh, he left some of his shipmates on the island. Yeah, no, he didn't lose them. He, he left them because they wanted to So then you had Squanto. You want to take it up and show everybody Squanto? Yeah, I, I, I want to read this book. Yeah, yeah, I like this one. You really like that one? How many times have you read that one? I once, and then I started like, oh, I want to read this book. Okay, what was your favorite part of Squanto? Well, there was friends and they invited him to, or the pilgrims invited him to come into their ship. And then they took him back to that place. London. They, he took him back, or he took him back to London. And people Who's he? Like Just him, this, uh, Captain John Smith or somebody else? Yeah, it was Smith. William Brewster. It was Smith. Okay, so Squanto, you liked it? Yeah. Okay, do you um, like, did you like it more than Christopher Columbus? Yeah. Okay. Okay, what about the next one? Uh, Secret of the Andes. What did you think of that? Not my favorite, but... Okay, fantastic. Yeah. What... What was hard about it? Probably, like, the chanting and stuff. Like, like uh, I don't... The chanting? They had yeah, some they, chanting going on in there? I was like, uh, what is it? So, like, you didn't I like the chanting about it? Yeah, it was like, the I, I couldn't even figure out what the words were, because they like, oh, it's... In Spanish, Espanol. Espanol. Awesome. Okay. Well, let's not change the book. That? That, yeah. <laughs> then your next one was. Keep yeah, up your yeah. courage, Sarah Noble. Yeah, that was like the biggest thumbs up. That's probably the second book. So that was um, one that you really, yeah. really liked. Yeah, I, I love this one. This is like the second book. This the second time you read it. Yeah. This is like mid. Meh. Yeah. Okay, what about the keeping room? Okay, I definitely love this book. Okay, this what was like, your favorite part about this book? The problem when he goes down and, oh. Oh, yeah, when he told the soldiers he was a, or when he told the British he was a British soldier. And then, because he disguised, he disguised as one okay. of the soldiers. We already talked about we're not going to do that because then the books just go flying. And we're like, why did we do that? Okay, so he told the soldiers he is a British soldier so that he could spy. No, not really spy. He tried to get his dad out of the prison, but it never happened. But it didn't happen. Yeah, but he was free. But he was free. Free, free, free. Okay, so you really liked that one. Do you think um, anybody else would really enjoy it? Yeah, I would like it. Okay, what about this one? I noticed you didn't put it in this pile. You're putting it in the nuts. Oh, okay, pile. Well, I just, I'm wondering if that was on purpose. Oh, did I read this one? Oh, no, I haven't read this one. You didn't read *Fifty Years Spy*. Oh yeah. Okay, what do you think of *Phoebe the, Phoebe the Spy*? Uh, that's like a meh. Meh. Yeah. Meh. Yeah, what What about that one? What do you think of this Ben Franklin? Well, three days. I don't remember reading this one. Okay. Oh. What's the big idea, Ben Franklin? You kind of do that. 
Okay. No, I do not remember reading this. Okay. We might have just gone on to the next one. Mm. Okay. What about Match Lock Gun? I, I, I've read this two times. I actually like this book. Because I had to read it for school last year. And then we started this. Actually, the year in 2016, because I had to finish this book. Mm -hmm. So, do you really like it? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite part? I probably when he grabs the gun off the bed and fires a big bang from it. While the <laughs> Indians are trying to uh, get the. Uh, her. Because he was picking like peas. Or, mm -hmm. mm, so he heard the sounds and shoots one of the Indians through a tomahawk. But it missed her and. Uh, well, it did cut part of her shoulder and then hit the, well, the door. And then. What's his, I think his name is Henry. Henry or Edward? Yeah, it's Edward. Yeah, I forgot. Edward, um, like, took, or he, like, grabbed it off the shelf because he heard, the, like, the big bang. So he thought, like, something on his mother was trying to break in because of, like, a coyote. So he fired it, it broke the window, and then the Indians got so scared because it just went boom. And then they just got scared away. That makes sense. So, I really liked that one. Okay, what about the next one? Grandma Kid? This one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, wait. It was a little bit longer, so is that yeah. made it a little bit harder to read, or did you really think it was a good one? Yeah, it was a really good one. I like this one. This was a really good I like this one. What was your favorite part? Probably when it goes to Philadelphia. When it goes to Philadelphia? So who was Benjamin West? Um, he was a Quaker, but they weren't Quakers weren't allowed to paint, and he wanted to paint. Mm -hmm. So he started painting, and his father and mother, they knew what was going on, so they just for, forgot about the paintings and let him start painting. But then, um, it was actually before he started painting, they, fa they found a cat. Actually, no, this, this German family came along and said, We can't carry this cat anymore. Would you guys please take it? They said he was like, he was like 14 or something. So then he named it Grimlin, but he had to keep it in the shed. But then the cat saved um, their mother, so she let, or, she yeah, let she let Benjamin, um, Benjamin's cat, Go inside whenever he wanted to, and then that's how they. Sh and then after that, the painting was. Yeah, it started. He started painting. And sometimes he was even late for school. So. Wow, that sounds fun. All right, what about the Lewis and Clark? Um. Yeah. Kind okay. Of. Okay. It was okay. Yeah. Okay. That was pretty good too. So, what book are you currently reading? I'm reading Farmer Boy. Farmer Boy. And are you enjoying that? Mm hmm You know you're not in the film. You're not in the frame. So, you got to squat down. So, show what you're currently reading. Farmer Boy. And do you like... about um, do you Almanzo. Like, and do you like Almanzo? Yeah. Yeah. I, I would read it again, probably. All right. Okay, what do you say to the viewers that have just taken the time to watch this video? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining us today. And give this video a thumbs up if you want to see Steven in another video. I don't know. If you want to see Steven again, give us a thumbs up. Bye.